remember it as if it was yesterday. Because it was. Thursday the 21st. This was the only day off of college and I start every day off the same. The time was 9.27 a.m. and that was the last time I saw my cup of tea. Sometime between me going to the bathroom and coming back to the kitchen, someone drank my tea. Because it is a crime. My brother, Ben, and my mother, Jan, both of whom deny any involvement. <laughs> Why would I? I would never. No. I am his mother. I didn't know what to do, you know? But at least I didn't have to go through it alone. <clears throat> uh, yes. I'm Ben Dover, a private police detective. I've been personally called onto this case. I interviewed one of the neighbours which overheard the altercation which took place after the incident had occurred. They came over to see if everything was alright and were immediately like, what is going on here? I'm still in disbelief. It's like they were mocking me. We know we drank your tea. But, oh, we left you the cold tea bag, which we know you hate being left on the side. We are dealing with a truly sick individual. This is ridiculous. They both know I don't do cold tea bags. You don't just leave a tea bag. Yes, you are. Mum, no. Listen to me. No. I'm you not. are I'm sexually not. attracted to tea. Uh, I am not sexually attracted to tea. Yeah, no. You know what? This is why Dad left us. Mum, Mum, stop. Mum, stop! The culprit will be caught. I love tea. There were only two other people in this house. This whole situation, this scenario, if you will, is utterly ridiculous. But I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say I'm not heavily invested in how this turns out. 